it's a great place. Yeah. And it's warm. Better than being out there. Hi, my name's Shai and I'd like to introduce Mark Wright. Mark Wright. Hi Mark, how are you? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Can you tell us? How you got here today, to this point right now? With the help of you and Lloyd. How long have you lived here at New Ethos Nottingham? Uh, moved in in November, about November. five months. About five months. Coming up to five months. How did you find out about New Ethos Nottingham? By a um, probation officer. So did you approach probation and ask them? No, they they're... told me. Oh, they told you? Okay, so the thing is, you were already in accommodation, so what made them tell you about here? Because I didn't like it at the place. Oh, you didn't like it at all? Okay. So, was New Ethos Nottingham the only option they gave you, or did they give you other options? No, they just uh, this one. They just but said I just feel this more one. safer here than I did at the other place. Yeah, what makes it safer here than there? I don't know, just a lot safer here than it was there. I didn't like the people there. No. I just kept myself to myself. So, do you find that now you socialise a bit more yeah. with people? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what's it been like with the staff whilst you've been here? Great. Very helpful. Yeah. What have they helped or supported you with so far? And I don't want to sort my money out. Of course, yeah. In when you say money, what do you mean? What exactly did he help you sort out? Because they won't pay me the right money, so got onto the phone and sorted that out. Oh, universal credit, or yeah, was it? And um, carers. Yeah, and carers. Mm. Why do you have carers? Because I care for my dad. Do you care for your dad as well as living in temporary accommodation? Yeah. So you care for your dad a few days a week. Mm. Okay. So you wasn't getting the right benefits. No. So Lloyd helped you to get the correct benefits. And what did he do? How did he help you? Rang him up. Yeah. And noticed that he won't, they won't pay me right. So we noticed that the amount wasn't correct for yeah. you? Yeah. That's really good. Do you think you would have done that yourself if you wasn't getting... No, to... I wouldn't have noticed. You wouldn't have noticed? You would have just left it as it was? <coughs> So since moving into New Ethos Nottingham, I know you said that Lloyd helped you um, set up your benefits and you feel a lot more comfortable, but what's changed for you? Come out and shed a bit more. Yeah. Because when I first come out, I didn't talk to nobody and just kept myself to myself. Nobody at all. Was it just difficult? We call it anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty bad. And you. It's not like calmed down a, a bit. That's really good. What's different? How has it come down a bit? What have you done that's different? No, it just feels a bit better than Mike was. Yeah. Um, did you find it difficult to go out? No, I still do a little bit, yeah. Still do a bit, but it's a bit better now. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. And what about contact with um, family and things like that? Are you now making more contact with them? Yeah. Yeah? Phone calls and my kids are video for them. And that was something that you wasn't comfortable doing either at no, one I was point. Just calling them normal on the phone. Yeah, and you're doing the video calls yeah. now. That's really good. Really good. <coughs> Do you believe that you've had the relevant support from New Ethos Nottingham? Yeah. Is there anything that you feel that we could change or make better no, in regards to I your stay good. here? I think it's fine at the moment. What do you, um, what support do you get from New Ethos Nottingham? What do you mean? Since being here, would what would you say you've had? Have you had help with um, shopping, food shopping? Mm -hmm. um, let me think. Signing up with registration for the doctors, yeah, that, that kind of thing, that kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, so you, they've helped you with that. Mm -hmm. Um, and what do you think to the food parcels and the surplus food? Yeah, that's great. Do you use it? Sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> mm. Would you say that you wouldn't go hungry? 
No, I definitely won't go hungry. Definitely won't go hungry. And um, would it have had an impact if there wasn't any food supplied for you? Well, I'd bring a bit of my, get my, some of my own shopping anyway. So you do a bit of your own, so you're quite independent really, mm. aren't you, when you think about it. So, but with the surplus food, it's just an add-on. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's really good. When you were released, um, did you have any other plans? Did you think to go to family or was it probation that steered you towards? Probation. They steered you straight towards going into a hostel? Yeah. Did you think about going to relatives or anything like no. that at all? No. Right. Why was that? Because like, conditions where you had to like, go while you on probation. So was that down to your license? Mm. Did you have any um, barriers when you first came out of jail, would you say? Was it difficult to find somewhere to live or did you get the assistance that you needed? I got help from probation. Probation helped yeah. you. Was that the NACRO part of probation or probation itself? Would you would he actually know that Lloyd? Would would it? It was it was it was probation yeah. at that point it was just probation. It was, <coughs> it was still probation. Yeah. NACRO didn't come into play till after Mark could come out. All right, so probation, um, was that before you left the prison, they set you up with a place or did you move straight out of the prison and have to... I had to go straight to that, uh, probation and then they... And then they... somewhere. So you got released first of all, mm. and then from there you went to your probation appointment. Yeah. And then they got you the accommodation that you was in before here. Yeah. So that was all on the same day. Mm. Yeah. That's John Locker. Yeah. Where were you before coming here? At Nascam. At Nascam. Was that a hostel or? Like a shared house, but with more people. With more people. How long were you there for, would you say? Mm. About six to eight months. Yeah, quite a while. Yeah. So before um, Nascam, where were you? In jail. Is in jail. How long were you there for? Six months. Yeah. All right. Would you recommend New Ethos Nottingham to anyone else? Yeah. You would. What would you say? Great place. Yeah. And it's warm. Better than being out there. <laughs> yeah outside on the street. Mm. Um, what are your plans for the next year? Not sure. Are you thinking, this is just a one-off, are you thinking you'd move on to independent living yeah. or move on to another hostel? No, not another hostel. Not another I hostel. Like where I am. Yeah, so you'd stay here and move on to your own, yeah. own property. Yeah, okay. All right then, Mark, thank you so much for taking part in our quick case study. Um, I hope it wasn't too nerve-wracking for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've done really, really well for your first video, especially because it's of your anxiety and everything. You've done great. So, Lloyd, I've got you on camera. Spin round. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, Mark. My name's Shai, this is Mark, thanks for watching.